High-performance laptops have come a long way in the last decade. We even see desktop graphics cards in laptops now. But we all know that if you want to do any creative work professionally, a well-equipped desktop is the way to go. What if I were to tell you that this laptop right here was able to give you the flexibility of a laptop with the true power and performance of a desktop? Meet the Metabox P750DM2-G. What a mouthful that one is. Now, as I said in the intro, this laptop is packing more punch than the desktop I used to make all my videos with. The only area my desktop wins is in the graphics department, which I upgraded recently. Inside the laptop, we are running a full desktop i7 7700K processor, overclocked to 4.4 GHz. Yes, you heard me right. In a laptop, we have a full desktop i7. For graphics, we are running a GTX 1060 6GB version, coupled with 32GB of 2400MHz RAM. Storage, we have two M.2 SSDs, both 500 gigs, and a 1TB Samsung EVO 850 series SSD for everything else. All this plus a G-Sync display makes this a pretty capable machine, even compared to the top-end desktops. For I.O., we have one HDMI 2.0 and two mini display 1.3 outputs on the back. On the right, we have one USB 3.0 and one USB 2.0 port and a variety of headphone line-in and line-out ports. On the left, we have an Ethernet port, one Thunderbolt 3 slash USB 3.1 combo port, one USB 3.1 Type-C port, two more USB 3.0 ports, and a full SD card reader. It's fair to say that this laptop certainly can tread a lot of gaming PCs and not only gaming, but productivity as well. So let's put it through a normal day that I go through in productivity and some light gaming on the side and pit it up against my Core i7 4770 desktop which has been my workhorse PC for the last three years. Now as you can see, this laptop absolutely rips my desktop to shreds in terms of CPU raw performance. Now with all good products like this, the price is very high, but it's not as much as you expect for a laptop with as high specs as this. For the configuration I have, you're looking at around 3400 Australian dollars. But for something like this, I think that's pretty reasonable. As sure, you could build an equivalent machine in a desktop case for far less money but with a desktop, you can't pick up your work and take it with you, say, on a plane, or go and work at a coffee shop, or take it out to your own backyard and work in the sunshine. It's just not very feasible unless you're going to a gaming LAN setup or somewhere that you can really set up a desktop. This is where the appeal is for a special effects artist like myself. Being able to pick up my stuff and take my work wherever I go and still get the same and if not better performance than I would get on my home machine. In fact, I edited this video entirely on this laptop while sitting in a coffee shop. And to me, that is the ultimate freedom as a professional and what makes this the true travel desktop. Thanks for watching.